about to see a young lady who was on Last Comic Standing in The Tonight Show. I have always loved my job as a comedian. But I have never loved it more than this very minute. Marriage is where one person's useless information seeps into your head and makes you dumber than you have ever been. Some comics probably just get married for the material. It's like living with two frat boys. Nice. And if you have a family that's as big as mine, it's crazy. You don't want to move over here because I'm your mother-in-law. Fresh brownies out of the oven, everybody! Brownies! Hey! Tommy! Pam! Tammy! What kind of wife is this? We left Hollywood. We decided to move to the middle of nowhere. Meadville, Pennsylvania. It's great for the baby. I need you in L.A. I want to give 100% to my career. I just feel like I'm missing so much. I'm trying to juggle everything. I can't seem to balance it. Is there a beer bong in the toy closet? There's chaos everywhere. I've never been heckled before by farm animals. This would have never happened in West Hollywood. Something's wrong with you that you want to have sex with me when I look like this. But thank God that I'm a comedian, because then I'll write a joke about it. Comedy is saving my life. People always say to me, Timmy, where do you get your material? I wake up. Tonight on A Stand-Up Mother. Your mother said that no one believes in Brooklyn that we're actually married. I never see you get married. Of course we got married. You know, he had his baptism. We didn't even have a party for him. I finally figured out a way to please everybody. We're going to have a wedding. Can you breathe? Do you want me just to change my bra? And a baptismal party all in once. A wedtismal? Wedtism. What the hell is that? The tismal? I don't know. I'm a wife, mother, and a comedian. It's a constant juggle. Good night. I hope I can balance it out. I don't know how long it's gonna work. What happened is simple. Wow, this is like an Amish drive through you to go under? Can't go to a garage sale with designer bags. Five hundred. Yours is a knockoff. Yeah. We just negotiated for this thing. Hurt. Step aside. It's time for everybody to get healthy. I yeah. think this okay. is algae, not spaghetti. Hey, I'm a married woman. Watch yourself. <laughs> no. Do you need something, ma'am? You're making her work, you goddamn guys. Get a maid. When you marry the prince, you look good, but my son looks skinny. His mother is the queen. It's like the first time we're together, alone. I can't sleep. You would think that I was the other woman and she was married to him. Uh, you wait, I'm Please. gonna cook and I gotta teach your wife. This is where the princess goes on Prozac. I don't know what happened. I'm Tammy Pescatelli, wife, mom, stand-up comedian. You guys are a great crowd. You're up way past your bedtime. My husband, Luca, and I left L.A. to raise baby Luca in Meadville, Pennsylvania. I'm juggling mommy duties, a comedy career, and my big crazy family. People say, Tammy, where do you get your material? I tell them. I wake up. You're about to see a young lady who was a finalist on Last Comic Standing. You've seen her a bunch of times on The Tonight Show. Put your hands together for Tammy Pescatelli! I didn't realize I was a bad kid until I heard someone talking to my parents and they said, did you always know she was going to be a comedian? And my father said, no. And they said, well, what did you want her to be? And my mother said, quiet. <laughs> When I was pregnant, people in Cleveland were happy, but no one in Los Angeles was happy. My agent was like, oh my God, a baby? Well, I guess your career's over. I said, why? He goes, well, I've never seen a pregnant woman on stage. I said, well, apparently I've never been to a really bad strip club. <laughs> I've been a comedian for a long time. People are like, you still wanna, you still wanna travel around? You still wanna be a comedian? This wasn't a 16-year ruse to get a man. You know, this was actually a goal and a lifestyle. And I think as of right now, I may be crazy, but I think that I can balance it. Meadville is slower than most places. The great part about it is it has nothing to do with show business. Everything in the garage is for sale. Don't you think it's a little odd? Not around this, these parts. This is Meadville. There's, did you notice the flux capacitor when you go backwards into time? It's a great place to raise a child. It's just not a city. I didn't even breastfeed my own son. 
it's not even a suburb next to a city. It's like a village next to a suburb next to a city. What are you doing in my house? Ooh, there's so much to do. How are you doing? Not really, I'm lying. Uh, <laughs> there is a lot to do. Rake the leaves. Mow the lawn for mommy, please. Plow the snow. But we're not here for the ambiance. <laughs> I've never been heckled before by farm animals. We're here for the family. And um, because if you scream at each other, no one can hear you. Be quiet! <laughs> That's why we're here. Some comics probably just get married for the material. I kid you not. Each person in my family inspires me in a different way to write jokes. My husband inspires me because our dynamic, I often equate it to watching I Love Lucy, except that I'm Desi. And he's Lucy, always trying to get in the act, always trying to have these crazy schemes. What did you do to my stuff? I was cleaning the counter off. No way! Luca, I know you put it in here. Tim, I put nothing in there. My son inspires me because he has a personality ten times bigger than either his mother or his father. Baby, baby, oh! My father inspires me just because he's oblivious. That's it. Come on, little pony. My mother really is the hub of this family, and she doesn't always understand me. So I hope it tastes better than it smells. I have my mother-in-law. She inspires me for comedy well. You know how to make a brown coffee? Yes, I know how to make brown coffee. I, I, I know how to make heavy things. She's my mother-in-law. I'm done. That's enough. The other day, your mother said that even though we've been married for like three years, no one believes in Brooklyn that we're actually married because they never saw it. No one tells you that when you marry your prince, when you find your prince charming, the prince has a mother and that makes her the queen. And the queen has a definite agenda of how she thinks her kingdom should be run. My mom never said that. Luca, wait. I'm gonna call right now. Yeah, but, buddy, I love that you want to clean. Thank you. We'll call her, I promise you, because I'll bet you. I'll tell you she said it. What do you want to bet? Now, you take my mother and my wife and the two of them, no matter what is said, it can say, God bless you. Oh, no, but you see the way she said it? I'm in between, you know? So it's 10 times harder for, for me. Hello? Ma. Yeah. Say hi, Nona. Hi, Nona. How's the baby? Ma, listen, I got a question for you. Did you tell somebody that you didn't believe we were married? I never see you get married. Did you get married yet or no? Of course we got married. So what do you mean? Three years ago. Oh, you think I'd put up with this if I wasn't? Really? Because we went to the Justice of Peace? I never saw a buffalo, but I know that they exist. Oh, I don't know, both of you, I don't know what the figure you do with both of you. <laughs> All my three boys, they have a beautiful wedding. The food, forget about it. Tommy and Luke, I don't see the wedding. I don't see nothing. Because you don't have uh, the party, nothing, nobody sees. When I see, then I believe. All right, Ma. I don't know what the frig they do it. I told you. All right, you're right. So because truly we never had a wedding reception, your mother doesn't believe that it happened. So she basically she just wants a party. We didn't have the big ta-da to do. You know, he had his baptism, we didn't have a party for him. The way Luke and I grew up, they would have an engagement party, they'd have a bridal shower, they would have the wedding, then they would have the baby shower, then they'd have the baptism. We're like seven parties behind. So we could maybe call it, combine it, you know? Combine the two, the two. The, yeah, the, the wedding, wedding and the, and the baptism. baptism. A wedtismo? Wedtismo. <laughs> wedtismo. <laughs> it's our own language. We'll find a venue. Some music. Yeah, you can take care of that. I'll be in charge of the music. We only have like five days off together. Five days. Five days is all listen, that I have to put I'm this serious. together. Five. I really need to get a manicure. Put that on the list. I just want you to remember, put a cap on this. I don't want this to be crazy. So now, maybe if Rose sees the wed tismo, she'll believe we're married. High five. High five. Family five. Family five. Family five. Family, five. Family time. Family five. <laughs> First of all, I was never the girl who wanted to grow up and get married, okay? People used to throw me the bouquet at a wedding, I'd catch it, throw it right back, hit them in the face, because I'm competitive, but I didn't want the problems. We're having a party. Do you think I need to have a wedding dress? Absolutely. Absolutely, really? it's gonna be a big party. 
you really uh, you want know, a dress that a doesn't jacket. upstage. Oh. Yeah. I just yeah. want to, I don't want to be Thank about you. the dress. It's not, and this is the only place to go. If you take me to the dress shop, and it's not even like just a dress shop. It's like a dress shop swap meet. Oh my God, look, look at those this. puppets. Aren't those cute? Ah, uh, not really. Oh, how cute. Just so stop with the baby stuff. We're done. <laughs> I'm done. Never know. Hi. Um, I need help. Um, I actually am already married, but we're having a party. We finally are getting to have the reception. Okay? So this is my mother. Hi. Hi. Do you mind? I'm just going to kind of look around That's a little fine. bit. Sure. So I was thinking something real long and flowy, maybe not real fluffy, or, but something long. Hi, and I'm your daughter. Have you met me before? Oh, that's pretty. Oh, I like this. That's beautiful. That's I got right. two, or maybe three. Is that the train? I'm not really into trains. I had no idea what beast it would unleash in my mother, but I'm telling you, I see it. Now stop wandering. Every time she sees a bead, it's just like a crack addict, really, like one of those bad cartoons. Oh, God, oh, God. Look at this. Well, just show me what, I'm gonna start getting ready. Just bring it to me. Oops. Okay, come on okay. out. I don't understand this process. Here, <laughs> here comes the goodies, all in this deliciousness. Oh. Well, that, you, you know never thought you could be these chesty. weirdo <laughs> things. What is this? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> She's nuts. You're supposed to tell me I'm supposed to wear special undergarments so I don't show the whole world. <laughs> if you didn't wear those thong things, you wouldn't be in so much trouble. All right, I have one more, and actually I think this might cross your fingers. Yep. I think I got it. Yeah? I think so. I'm not showing you. All right. Oh, this is always fun. This way, a ton. I feel so, I don't even know what. <laughs> I don't even know how you do it. Cheerio. Thank you. <laughs>my job is to find the band. I'm a sort of a disco guy, you know? And I can't find a disco band unless we go back, uh, you know, 30 years. So I said to myself, why don't I put out an ad like on flies around town? You're either gonna be really good, really bad, or I might find something in between that might make everybody happy. That elk is staring at me. I don't understand what we're doing here. I went and put an ad out in the paper and... Uh, For the music? Yeah. So I figured I'd get a bunch of bands in. At an Elks club. Why not? That's what my whole life has become a series of. Why not? It feels yeah. like Meadville Idol or something. <laughs> Play a little louder, <laughs> just a little bit. Yeah, we can. I'm gonna kill you. Oh, I'm really gonna kill you. Grandpa Charlie was sitting on the old porch swing, smoking his pork chop pipe. His thoughts they seem so far away in early July. We can't have this. Oh, you think? As, as good as it is. Your mother would go crazy. Paul have dual drinks. I wouldn't want them around my family. My family would abuse them. them. I know. Our family would ruin them. They'd in be one drunk. Night. Oh, wanted to be pregnant. We we would reverse a lifetime of homeschooling. Oh, what the hell is this? What? I didn't ask for a mannequin. Well, I would hope you didn't ask for a mannequin. That would be creepy. I haven't slept at all since I saw you at the mall. The girl that I adore stands on Macy's second floor. In between petites and women's women's You didn't put our home address on that ad, did you? We would be the perfect match if I could just get you detached. What in the hell is going on? Never tire of your beauty or your smoking hot fiberglass booty. 
You're my fantastic plastic. Oh, what a girl. You're actually my new neighbor. Oh really? oh, really? Yeah. It's always nice to hear from a man holding a mannequin in a tux that we're neighbors. I guess we're getting a DJ, huh? Yeah. How did I live in Los Angeles for 12 years and none of my neighbors had a mannequin? I don't know. Are you sure this is better for the baby? I don't know. <laughs> Coming up on a stand-up mother, I don't know how long it's going to work. Sometimes you do things like that, and then later on you regret. Oh, boy. So, so. <laughs>I finally figured out a way to please everybody. We're gonna have a wedding and a baptismal party all in once, the wedtismal. Have you got all the plans made for the wedtismal? It's just gonna be what it'll be. I don't want all the pomp and circumstance. I know that you don't want gifts and all that kind of stuff, but we thought it would be really cool for you to go for um, dance lessons. <laughs> Fancy dance lessons, so you can get up and do ballroom style dancing. I was supposed to be on a show that now is super popular, Dancing with the Stars. And I was all excited. And then two days before we went into rehearsal, I received a phone call. And they said, Tammy, we're sorry, but we're going in a different direction. Do you know who they replaced me on the show with? I was even more depressed when I found out. Heather Mills McCartney. Oh. Right, you know who she is, right? She used to be married to a Beatle. She's an amputee. You don't know a bad day at work till you've been replaced on a dancing show by a one-legged girl, okay? Um. <laughs> would, would you like to do that? I just thought it would be fun. Does it make you happy? Yes. As the mother of the bride? Yes. Does it make you happy? Yes. I know that everything that I say I don't want is what she wants. I'll dance for you, but... Okay. Well, that, that's got to be enough to suffice, old woman. That'll suffice. Oh, I love you. I love you That's too. That's gonna be enough. Okay. <laughs>
step, 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 step. Okay. It looks good, right? <laughs> That's it. Oh my. <laughs> I think I've lost control. Oh, and he's at the ballet bar. Oh! Somehow I don't find that sexy. Now, how are we going to surprise her? We're going to bring Luca in on that. Oh. We're basically going to ambush Tammy. We can't let this out of the bag or Tammy will put the kibosh to it. <laughs> he's going to end up in a back brace for our white dismal. <laughs> Bye. Thank you. Oh, my God. You want something to drink? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. So I'm taking my father aside to ask him to do the blessing for the wed tismal because it would be great. We're not going to do another ceremony. So this wed tismal is not going to be a big deal. But what I kind of thought, I would like you to give us a marriage blessing. I would be honored to give the blessing. When I do the blessing, it won't be humorous, just like uh, your first night in Rock Island on your first comedy show. There won't be any comedy in <laughs> I I take being the spiritual being leader by my own father. seriously. And we're looking forward to it. Even if we got to pay. You don't have to, you don't have to pay. <laughs> Come on. Buddy, where's mommy's phone? Anna? Hello, Tammy. <laughs> hey, Anna, how are you? I'm good, how are you doing? I'm very good, thank you. Uh, just living the high life in Meadville. How is Meadville? It's great, honey. I mean, lots of... <laughs> yeah, you, as you can hear. Are you a play? Are you playing or what? That's just my one single personality child. Well, I need you to do something. I have a huge audition for you. The director's only going to be in town for the next couple days. I really need you to get out to L.A. and meet uh, Anna, I don't think that's going to be possible. <laughs> but what I can do, listen to me, I will put myself on tape. I will put it on, you know, on a link. I will email it to you. You putting yourself on tape obviously isn't going to have the same effect as you talking to the director directly. No, you think this is really going to affect me? You know, we've talked about this. I need you in L.A. I know. I'll be in New York probably next week. But uh, call me next week and we'll talk about it. Work? Yeah. Anna said something to me when she called. She said, I don't know how long that you can keep this up living in Meadville. We'll do whatever it needs to be done. Well, mm. it's the truth, babe. Like, it's not like we let, a lot of people leave L.A., but they leave because their careers are faltering. Our careers were not faltering. We were at a great place. We mm. actually made a choice for the baby to be here in Meadville. And that's more important than anything. But we got to be able to feed him. we got to be able to take care of him. You just have to bear with me because this is a little bit like flying by the seat of our pants. I don't know how long it's going to work. Coming up on The Stand-Up Mother. What happened to Simple? You know? Something my mother can relate to. But why is it about her? You know A wed tismal is for people on the go. When you don't have time to do the full wedding and the baptism, just have a wed tismal. So today I have to find a venue. And I have to do all this within the confines of Meadville, Pennsylvania. We're going to do something we call a wed tismal. Okay. I never had a chance to have a reception when okay. we got married. All right. I never had a chance to have a party for the baby when he was baptized. Okay, so, so it's a combination of Combination. Both. This is the room? Is this what we, what would we do? Private function or do we share with other customers? You have half the dining room, the no, whole dining room? I would room. think private because okay. you don't want to unleash my relatives drunk on the world. <laughs> no, <laughs> I don't maybe. think we want to do that okay. to you. You could do it outside in a tent if the weather cooperated. If we do it outside in a tent, my mother-in-law will have a heart attack. All right. 
I don't even know if my mother-in-law is gonna be happy when we actually really do have this. I mean, in Brooklyn, they have stages that lift up the bride and groom, go away, and then they come up and they rise from the floor. Um, just, I mean, just a thought, but we can definitely spill out onto the patio if the weather cooperates. We've got a fireplace out there. And, and I can really see this. I love the smell from the fireplace. I okay. can really see this working with some candlelight. And okay. All right, I'm going to get you the deposit. Can I use this crayon to write the check? I'm ready. We're going to do this party. Small amount of time, but I think, I think we can do it. Uh, could you hold that check till uh, next week? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Hold on, monkey. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. It's daddy. Hello? Honey. I just went to the uh, the Italian Civic Center. You gotta see this place. It's beautiful. It's huge, it's big, For it's what? perfect. For the web tismal. But look, I already went to the chop house. Yeah, but you gotta see this place. Just just don't do anything till I get there, please. Alright, I did. I won't. Okay? She's gonna come take a look. Okay. Even though I was supposed to only do the music, I found out there's an Italian civic center in town here. So I'm like, hey, Italians, you know, this has gotta be great. Yep. This is nice. Yep. How many people does this hold? 500. 500, perfect. 500. Yep. Okay, you have the stage there, that's nice, yep. I like that. Yep. And the dance floor rises up to even with the stage, so if you wanted to do a, a wedding dance or something. Oh yeah, my wife would love that. Head, <laughs> makes it look nice. <laughs> Hey, so what do you think? Look at it. Tell her about the floor. And the dance floor, the wooden floor, rises to the level of the stage. Could you excuse us for sure. just like a minute? Just, Luca, it's a bingo hey, ball. Hey, I got all the stuff, it's great. I heard this thing in my head. Make a choice, pick your battles. And in marriage, you have to figure out which fights you're gonna fight. Bingo. Is this it? This is it, I guess. We're having a bash, boo-boo. They say that uh, marriage is a compromise. Check. Look, it's just so much work to do. That's the norm when somebody gets married. You realize this whole thing is to please your mother. Yes, that's what life's all about. This pleasing, whole... pleasing women. Have you talked to your family? Is everybody coming? How are well, they coming? Well, my family's gonna come. And they're all staying here? Yeah. I'm not exactly sure why I chose to do this now. I don't know where it ends, where it begins. I want everybody here, but I don't want them here. Just hope that your mother doesn't think it's junky. Do you really think that this wet tismal is gonna make your mother happy? You can have a $10 million wedding. Okay, with the best of and the creme de la creme. No, not somebody. My mother will find something wrong. How you been, all right? Good. I decided to go and sit down with the mayor of Beadville, Mayor Chris, who is my friend. Reason I'm here. Okay. My mother doesn't believe that me and Tammy are married. You didn't invite her to the wedding? What? Well, we just went and got went to the Justice okay. of the Peace. So She's from the other about, side, my mother. She's, well, you know, Greenhorn's Italian. She doesn't even know what a Justice of the Peace is. Hey, I'm the product of a Sicilian mother. I Believe me. Yeah, I completely this, this, understand. Say no more. Yeah, say no you know, more. That's right. They know how to cook and they do. And drive you crazy. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's, that's their job. <laughs> exactly. That's exactly their job. That's right. So I figured if I got the mayor to give the webtism a blessing, how great would that be? Jeez. And I'm the lucky mayor? You would be the lucky mayor. I'm honored. Would you I'm do honored. it? Absolutely, ah, I'd do buddy. it. It'd be a thrill for me to ah, do it. Well, anything you. we can do to help uh, ease your mom's mind, absolutely, we'd be happy to do that. I can't find Luca, and whenever I can't find him, always something is going on. Luca, left to his own devices, always causes trouble. Always. Hey, thank you. Just my kiss. Where were you? I was doing something. Something cool that's gonna put this whole thing together nice. I went to the mayor's office. 
and I talked to Mayor Chris, and I asked him to give the blessing for the webtismal. But when my mother Luca, finds out that it's gonna be a May I'm doing the blessing, forget about it. Yeah, but Luca, I just asked my father. I thought it's supposed to be family. What happened to simple? What happened to this is only simple. family? No, it's not simple when you have the mayor. We don't even know the mayor. That's not true. I know the mayor. I know Chris. He's floating up and I'm pulling him down like a helium balloon. Please come back to Earth. You know what my mother's gonna say if your father does it? He's not the real priest. That's what she's gonna say. He's not the priest. I'm supposed to tell my father what? Coming up on a stand up mother. Surprise! Surprise! What happened to you? Like they say you never really know someone until you live with them and that's true. But it's not about the person, it's about the stuff that they bring to your house. I opened up this one box and when I saw what my husband had in there, I almost called everything off. And before you think porn, know that I grew up with all boys and when I opened up that box, I have never prayed for porn more in my life. <laughs> you know what it was? Hammer pants. <laughs> trying to fight with you. I'm not fighting with you either. I just, I just, I, just I want this to be simple. I want this to be about us. I had asked my father to give us the blessing at the wet dismal. Luca asked the mayor of Meadville to give us a blessing. So now we have two people. I don't, know. I don't want to fight like that. Hey. <laughs> I'm supposed to tell my father what if he's not going to do the he's blessing. He's walking me down the aisle. There is no aisle. There's, what aisle is there? In between the tables at the Civic Center? There's no, I mean, I don't even, we're not going to a church. We're not reenacting a ceremony. We're just gonna have a nice little blessing. That's it. While everybody's eating, we'll stop. You and I will stand up there. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Our bridge is, the bridge over River Kwai it just explodes. Hey buddy, you want some soup? You want soup? Do you see the soup? It's got stars. How much does mommy love you? More than all the stars and all the sky. Here's all the stars. Here's all the stars. Hi. I called a little bit ago about a spray tan. Yes. Yes. Okay. You know Did you're you? the only one in like miles and miles that does a spray tan? Yes. Yes. It's amazing. Um, I need to look like crazy tan, you know that? Uh-huh. Can you do that? Is yep. there any tanning levels, like light, medium, Jersey girl? All right, you ready? So this audition, I'm trying to get my agent to help me with. It's this character that, of course I know, it's just one of those neighborhood, loud, body broads with the dark tan, and it looks like it's some kind of disease that you're missing a vitamin or something. Is that what? Yeah, that's, the door used to be white. All right, I just need to turn this on. Right. I'm gonna spray. This is never gonna end well. Whenever you stand in a room naked with a stranger and they're spraying stuff on you, there's no way it's gonna turn out good. The things I go through to try to keep my career going. Okay, you can breathe. Okay, I'll blow you dry. How do you blow me dry? With the hose. I was single, I had a great car, great wife, living in Los Angeles. I'm in the middle of a mountain getting reverse blown by a vacuum. Luca, are you ready? Yeah. I just need you to help me with this audition. I got you. I really want my agent to see that I'm still committed. I may not be physically in Los Angeles, but I'm still fully present in my career. And I think that actually I can do a good audition on tape. It's, um, you can be, you can, I'm calm. <laughs> Stop it, your mother would be proud. You actually look good. To you it look good, because you grew up with this. Tammy actually looks really, really hot. Tell me your name again, hon. Oh, great. Could you get the phone? Can I? Tim. Just don't answer it. I won't answer it. Don't answer, don't take the call. He's in one of them right now. It's easy money. Mother of Christ. I'm gonna really kill somebody, for real. 
I swear to God, I'm gonna stab someone with my tan. It's Tim. Luca, stop with the Tim. It's just, Tim, what do you want me to do? He keeps calling. Just shut it off. Just get the lines first down, Pat. Come on, put the it, try it without- The phone, the phone! Why don't we tape it outside? All right, quickly, I don't want anybody to see me, so let's go. Come on. Mary, my mother-in-law said, let me know when you can get her out of the house. Luca! I'm taking her out of the house right now. Now, now you should come. I don't want to ruin the seats with the tanning stuff. Give me like a good 45 minutes hour. Luca! I'll, I'll, I'll be back. Okay, bye. I really don't want anybody to see. She's going to be so surprised. I know. <laughs> This is the big day, and I'm really excited about this shower. Hi! Turn this back in. How are you? Everyone's here. Hi, Hi. sweetheart. Oh. I've got 45 minutes to get this all done. Oh, this is going to be great. She's going to be so surprised. Oh, hurry, honey, please. The scene did call for us to be outside, but not in the middle of town, looking like a big Oompa Loompa with heels. How's my poof? Your poof is good. Take it from the top. It's a good find. The guy was the dealer. He lives in your building. Kim. Let's do it. Can we do it one more time? All right, do it. But I would feel more comfortable if you didn't have the paper in your hand. Can you try it on, on the bench? I can't believe that we pulled this off. Uh, she's, she's probably going to be mad. But I was afraid that 10 years from now, she'd look back and say, I didn't even have a bridal shower. We got the silverware out. We got the glasses. 10 minutes. Cut. Thanks. OK, can we go? All right, can I walk to the car? <laughs> that, is this for the audition or it's for your sick okay. purposes? Go ahead. Come here. <laughs> nice. I probably got to get arrested for prostitution. I'm sorry, I wasn't soliciting. This is going to be such a surprise. I think I'm getting tanning stuff all over everything. So as we're walking through the door, yes. here she comes. that's when it dawns on me that Tammy is going to be furious because she's dressed in that over-the-top outfit. with the shower is number one, I didn't want one. Number two, it was a surprise. And number three, I looked like Snooki's mother. Hi, baby. Oh, it's Snooki's mother. He doesn't even know who I am. Oh, my God. He's oh, afraid God. of her. Mommy. mommy, take that off, Mommy. No. I'm glad my mother-in-law is in here to see this. She's so crazy. I'm afraid of her. I don't know how you pulled this off. How do you pull off a... Get Franny and Rejo and I. I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna kill him. I didn't want all this. I'm already married. I wanted a shower. Even he's laughing at me. <laughs> this is another part that I guess I'm gonna have to learn as a mother. You force you what you want upon your children, even when they don't want it. You look very nice. sexy, I must say. I know, I look oh, sex yeah. delicious. This is our old going out know. outfits. You know you want to rock this deliciousness. <laughs> Whether she realizes it or not, mom usually knows best. Ah, uh, you're sweet, <laughs> thank you. I didn't even know I needed this. Well, I'm glad you did. Luca, what time is your family coming? They should be here within the hour. Your mother knows it's not a priest, it's my father giving the blessing. What do you mean your father? I asked the mayor to do it. The mayor is giving I, the blessing. I know you asked the mayor, but the blessing is my father. The mayor can just... The mayor can prove to your mother that it's a legitimate legal transaction. Right, that's... Well, he can't give the blessing. Why can't he give the blessing? It's gonna be my father to give the blessing. That's a given. I, I don't really care if, if the Pope showed up. Because it's not a real ceremony. Have the mayor there to legitimize it for your mother. That means a lot to me. All right, so you then know, they're both going to do it. I don't, I don't care. It's all yeah, good. My father me. didn't get to walk. We didn't have a ceremony. We went to the Justice of the Peace. So my father didn't get to walk me down the aisle. I mean. So your father's going to do the, 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 the blessing. The blessing. And the mayor's going to just kind of legitimize, legitimize it. Like, you know, I. All right. On the Wizard of Oz, he's going to. There Proclaim the, the witch married. Okay. <laughs> Shut up. That's an understatement. <laughs> Coming up on a stand up mother. I don't know where everybody's gonna sleep. Tommy! Tommy! The oldest mess over here. Oh my god.
people search, they search, they search, they search for the one, the one, the one. You know what you forget about the one? The one comes with family. And sometimes, no matter how much you love that person and they love you, their family is crazy. And I'm not going to tell you that my mother-in-law is difficult, but the Pope would stab her with his hat, okay? <laughs> Luca's family arrives on Wedtismal Day, added to my family and the chaos. And Holy pig. Hey, they're here, honey. Luca! Tommy! Grazie! I go to look at in Tommy's house for a tismo. What the hell is that? The tismo? I don't know. Oh, look at the house! The baby's sleeping. Oh, what a beautiful house. I did some extra stuff because I thought it's important for you to see a clean house. Well, because I was coming, you clean the house? Well, I always clean the house. It's not just because you were coming. Really, you don't know how to cook? Tommy, my machine is better than yours. My coffee comes delicious. This coffee, yeah. You don't know how to make coffee. Tommy, the oldest mess over here. Oh my God. You got to close over there. You got to close over there. You got to close all over. You say you clean the house nice. Will you clean the house? I don't know where everybody's going to sleep. Somebody took my suitcase. Tommy! My nerves are just shot. Too much chaos. Lou is my hair guy. <laughs> he does my hair and my makeup for special events. It's really nice that I have Lou on a day like today because he's my one moment of peace and sanity in all this chaos. Where's Tommy? Tommy! <coughs> Where's our wife? I don't know where she is. Tommy! Hello? Hi, is this Tammy? It is. This is Steve from Anna's office. She asked me to pass along a message. Unfortunately, the Jersey Girl audition that you did, they decided to go in a different direction. Okay, thank you, Steve. Sorry about that. That's okay, thanks for calling, I appreciate it. Okay. Bye. Sorry. Yeah, well, I don't know. It's, I mean, you know, Lou, odds of me getting a gig like that from Meadville, Pennsylvania, are slim and none. But I tell you the truth, it's disappointing. I'm used to rejection. Just the fact that it happened to be on my wedtismal day, it just was another thing that I was failing at. This whole thing, this whole Meadville, this whole marriage and baby, I thought I could handle with my career. It's just like I constantly can't do enough for anybody. Do you think you can't or you do? Do you think that I just you're... feel like I'm failing. My advice to you tonight is just go somewhere for a few minutes and just look around and see everything around you. Because you'll never ever forget it. It was very special. I just feel like I have to I have to control everything and that's so hard. I gotta let that go. Tommy! What? You look like a million dollars. You look good in black, ma. Brush, work, brush, and I'm ready. Okay, where's this jacket? Will you guys help me, please? Yes, I'm losing my mind. You want to help, Percy? Can you pull that side and I'll pull yeah, this side? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Push the push it down. There. Oh. Can you breathe? Can you breathe? Yeah, because it's just my boots. Oh. Look how big it is here. I can't think she can breathe in this dress. She's got. All of them, the thing is gonna come out, and then I gotta be embarrassed. You both Jump. look so handsome, my two Lucas. This is our party. Ladies and gentlemen, direct your attention to the front entrance way. Please welcome the happy couple, Tammy and Luca. Tammy looks so beautiful. Even though that dress isn't a big fancy dress, it's the perfect dress for her. They don't have a nothing. What kind of wit is this? Thank you all for coming tonight uh, to the wed tismal. I know some of you are wondering what a wed tismal is. It's a 
wedding slash baptismal. Nice. <laughs> and congratulations to little Luca on his baptism. Right? Congratulations. God bless you, buddy. Half the party is his. It's the wed tismal. He's the baptism part. He's the tismal part. <laughs> Now, if you don't mind, uh, I think my father is going to come up and do a blessing for us. Thank you, Dad. When two Italian families merge, it just becomes a bigger Italian family. We are blessed to have our entire family and Luca and his family join us in the city of Meadville. We love you both. I love you. Okay. Now, do you believe us, Rose? <laughs> Has she ever been happy? Yes. When? When? The day I was born. I'd like to bring up the mayor. There he is. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Chris Storm. <laughs> As mayor of the city of Meadville, they don't give me a whole lot of power, but one of the things that I am allowed to do is officially proclaim anything I want. So everyone, it's an honor for me today to officially proclaim this day as Tammy and Luca Day in the city of Meadville. And I encourage all of you to participate in all things Tammy and Luca. Congratulations. You satisfied? Yes. Do you finally believe that we're married? Yes, I believe it. I believe it when I see everybody okay. over there. Thank you. I saw the cha-ching go off in her head when she saw the mayor. Yeah, he was like the equivalent of a brand name pocketbook. He was the Gucci of the party. <laughs> it was just great to see everybody smiling. Even your mother smiled at yeah. me. I don't know if it was gas, it's like a baby, but still. Remember our right, yeah. I have a great husband, I have a beautiful son, but I have all these other people that hold you up. And that is why we moved back to Meatville. So someone was always around to hold you up. That's what family does. Also, they judge you and make you feel sometimes like you're a little inadequate, but okay, they hold you up. I'm glad we did it. I might want to kill somebody when we get home. I think it pulled it off, quite frankly, if I do say so myself. Good time was had by all. Nobody got arrested. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Next on um, A Stand Up Mother. Hello. Who's this? It's Tammy. You never called me. That's why I don't recognize your voice. Surprise! Oh my God. You look skinny. Uh -huh. What happened? I'm going to cook and I got to get your wife. You no? said to put water, didn't you? Are you crazy? I want to go. No, I'm saying maybe we'll buy a house in Brooklyn. It's like the first time we're together alone. I can't you sleep. sleep. What kind of wife is this? You would think that I was the other woman and she was married to him. 